Welcome to this presentation of UPSL Soccer Action, live on YouTube and presented by the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here at Heinz Ward Field and Terra Stadium. I am Drew Dickinson, and today I am joined by Steven Johnson. We will bring you today's action. Okay, two teams, Club the Strongest Atlanta, taking on Atlanta Rovers FC, 2023 Spring Regional Cup Final. Steven, they met in week three, 1-1 draw. I'm excited to see this one get started. Club the Strongest will be going from right to left, and they're all white kits and going from left to right and their yellow and black striped kits will be Los Tigres. Steven, if you're, everybody who's watching back home, should be a treat today. Oh, it should be an absolute delight. Not only are we here for probably a preview of, I want to say a very important match for the upcoming season. Maybe this isn't the final, but I'd be shocked if it wasn't at least a semifinal in the season to come. But these are two teams who have really showed off what they have to be excited about for this upcoming season. It hasn't been perfect just yet, but both teams are showing us some, some flashes of brilliance here, especially with some new players coming around. Rovers go long early. Those Tigres are awarded a throw in deep in their own third. Big clearance out by Jojo Sandoval, who takes his spot back between the goalposts tonight. He's gonna be knocked out by Jair Lopez, throw in Los Tigres right in front of their bench. Both of these teams still have yet to figure themselves out, Steven. Still using this regional cup to figure out what starting 11 they want, how they want to work the bench. Two good coaches. I expect to see both of these teams at the top of the table once the season starts here in a few weeks. Those Tigres starting out on the upper hand. Siraj in possession. Yeah, just trying to work that ball around the midfield. You can see a lot of those tag members are coming back, dropping off that very strong defensive line for Rovers, and here it comes. Pizzoleo puts through. Ball's played across the middle, looking for Kai Bennett. Nice clearance by Rovers. Early chance here for Los Tigres. Let's see if they can capitalize. Loop it over the middle. Jamal Titileo, shot on goal, goes far post, and it just sails wide left. Jamal Titileo snuck inside the, the defense of Rovers, tried to find the back post, just unsuccessful. Goal kick, Rovers. Yeah, I think one big thing that we were talking about at the conclusion of last week, we mentioned it on the podcast. Looks like it was deflected, Steve, and started to interrupt. It's going to wow. be a corner for Los Tigres. Yeah, Los Tigres, are, they're coming out of the gates absolutely blistering here. Maybe not the most inspired attack performance last week in the semifinals, but this time already two phenomenal through balls. One to start that attack on the left, and then one for that ball over the top. If they keep this up, I'm already, I'm already seeing questions that Rovers are not answering. Corners played to the far post. Nobody was there. It's going to sail over the line for another throw in for Rovers FC. All right, maybe not quite as inspired as the last two uh, passes or crosses, but already you're seeing a lot of very, very intelligent passing, a lot of heads up play there from the midfield and from the attacking players of Club the Strongest. And this is one of the things that we highlighted. It, personally, I think we talked a lot about Rovers. They should be the ones in control of this match. I'd personally be shocked to see any less than two goals if you players get head up there. But if Club the Strongest can come out of the gates, build themselves a buffer, I could definitely see them taking this game the distance. 
we'll have another free kick here for Los Tigres. Number 18 will take the kick. Another lineup confusion from Los Tigres again this week. Don't have a number 18 on my roster. Free kick, two-man wall set up from Valdivinos for Rovers. Looks like Fran Combe and Jair Figueroa Lopez will be that two-man wall. Jimmy, Jimmy Noel steps back from his attacking position to mark up inside the box. Ball's played at the far post. Chris Ramos gets a foot on it but puts it right to the feet of Kai Bennett at the top of the 18 for club the strongest. Kai Bennett face off with Ramos. Huskovich, shot on goal and it hits the side of the bar. Harris Huskovich comes from his defensive position, takes the in line, puts a shot on goal and it hits the side post here for a goal kick for Rovers. Club the strongest coming out hot. Five minutes in, they've had loads of chances. Yeah, checking out this replay once again, just driving down this left side, not afraid to make a move in, not afraid to cut over to that inside foot, let one rip in. Ah, just a little bit too far on that, but already, ooh. Good attack and play. Muscovich hits the post early for Los Tigres. Let's see if they can build off of it. Noel, far post looking for Sam Johnson. The big guy is inside the 18. He wanted a volley. Chris Daron, shot attempt, hits off the bar, stays in bounds, finds the feet of Noel, who puts a far post, looking for Johnson again. Just couldn't get a foot on it. Modinho Delane is going to run it down, try and keep it in bounds. He does keep it in bounds. Finds Jair Lopez, Lopez lays it off to Modinho, puts it near post. Sebastian Lopez gets a foot on it, clears it away. Dangerous opportunity here for Rovers. They just couldn't capitalize. Throw in right in front of the Rovers bench for Los Tigres. What a nervy game so far. I mean, we just saw a sustained period attack for Club the Strongest, but like we mentioned on the podcast, like we mentioned in previous weeks, Rovers are dangerous as heck on the counters. If they can find that ball through, like there, they had a two-man advantage at that back post. Couldn't quite bring it down in time. But Club the Strongest, it feels like they're having to invest so many men forward on this attack that they may just leave themselves open, but doesn't matter if they make payoff. Club the Strongest took the end line, tried to put it up top, but found the feet of Rennie Matthews, who clears it up the right side. Jimmy Noel takes it down out of the air to his feet. Finds the feet of Frank Combe. Got a lot of space out here for Modinho Delane. He takes a few touches on the inside. Nice movement here from the midfield of Rovers. Figueroa Lopez cuts it inside, gets a switch on it. Montero. Ball's played into the far post from Rovers. Got two men in the back post! And finding the near post out of the air is Jair Figueroa Lopez. What a beauty it was. The Rovers go up 1-0 in the first 10 minutes. It could be a sign of things to come. That looked just too easy, Steven. That was, that was a beautiful example of how you get goals off crossing situations. They drive to the right side. And the back line, they just get caught ball watching. Great positioning on that header. Perfectly plays it back across the keeper. Ke catches him flat-footed. And so many times in this league, I feel like we see those crosses that just need a little bit more. That was that little bit more. That was beautiful placement, beautiful drive in. And I'm, the question for us now, can Club the Strongest come back? Because Rovers are a team that if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. And if you give them a yard, they're going to take a two-goal lead. So right now, I think it's all on Club the Strongest. They need to keep this competitive, or Rovers could turn this into a rout. Perfect power, perfect placement. Back to the near post, it goes... And up 1-0, the Rovers go. Jimmy, or excuse me, Jair Figueroa Lopez. We are now entering response time here for Los Tigres. Let's see how they can measure up to going down and one Adam early. Rovers goal scored by Javier Lopez, number 13, in the seventh minute. Jimmy Noel puts it inside the 18. Sam Johnson can't stay on his feet. If he could stay on his feet, he might have found the back of the net there. Modinho brings it down out of the air, finds Daron. Daron finds Modinho again. Modinho goes far post, and Jojo Sandoval diving to his left, gets a left hand on it, pushes it over the line. Corner, Atlanta Rovers FC, and right now, Steven, they are putting it on the back line of Los Tigres. Here's a replay. 
Yeah, and this back line of those two guys just really isn't finding their man marks in time. It seems like the three at the back situation just isn't enough. They need some support from the midfield. They need some support from those wide players if they're going to cover everybody because somebody is always just being left open. That time it wasn't the open man that scored the goal, but it was the open man that made the connection. Deep lying midfielder comes through for that strike and really good save there from the goalkeeper to keep this one, I mean, still within a, within a goal. Great save from JoJo, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Aguero puts it to the far post. JoJo, what he's always been so good at. His timing, coming off his line at the right time, bringing the ball down out of the air. Quick punt. The ball's flicked on by Mauricio Cross, who looks to be in a more advanced position right now. I'm not sure if that's just the timing of the play or if they go down one early. They want to put their big guns up top. Here comes Jimmy Noel. Jimmy Lee Noel. Great defensive recovery there from Archange Krabasa to slow down the Haitian. Jimmy went to Baldwin High School in Milledgeville, Georgia. Empire second team at Hartwick College. So Jimmy knows how to score goals. Let's see if he can score them when Rovers need them the most. Bit too heavy on that through ball there from Los Tigres. It's gonna go out for another goal kick for Rovers. What you seeing so far, Steven? I'm seeing a very concerning defensive trend here for club, the strongest. I mean, when they look to keep sustained possession, they look dangerous. The first two passes of the game were some of the best passes I've seen in this entire cup for Club the Strongest. But now that they're getting pushed into the defensive third, now that Rovers are really starting to question their back line, I'm seeing something of a lack of coordination or maybe even a lack of leadership in that defensive three line. Because look at these members from Rovers. They're matching up one to one for every person. So if one defender gets caught out, you're all of a sudden in an overload situation. The coach is gonna have a lot of time to, to come up with what the answer is because, or maybe not actually enough time because something's got to change back here. Maybe a midfielder comes back, maybe a wide player comes back, but already Rovers are putting a lot of pressure here. To, to piggyback off what you're saying, look at Mauricio Cross, number 15. As soon as they lost possession, he ran back and stood in line with his three center backs. I'm not too sure how that's going to work for the entire game. You need your number six to do a little bit more than defend. I think he's one of the top right. three players out on the field, and I think when the ball is at his feet, his team feels a little bit more confident. They need to figure out a way to have him play more of a Frank and De Jong role. Yeah. Collect the ball in the back and drive up the pitch. Drive, 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 drive. You know, we, we say week in and week out here in the regional cup, oh, he comes from here, he's used to this, he's used to that. You've played four weeks with this team. Let's figure out something to capitalize on what you're good at. I'm gonna bring the ball out of the back once again, Los Tigres. Pablo. Puts it up the right side. Ball stays inbounds. Steve Ramirez. Good defensive play there by Delane. Wins a throw in for Rovers. Yeah, good defensive cover there. And I think that as long as Rovers, at least during this passage of play, are able to keep the ball, maybe not always in their opponent's uh, defensive third, but even in the midfield, so far their back line hasn't really been asked a lot of questions. Sure, there have been phenomenal balls from strongest that have been able to find the gaps there, but they're coming from really good strongest play, not necessarily mistakes on Rovers' side, where if you flip that over and look at how the other attack is going, a lot of these chances, sure, it's solid fundamental attacking from Rovers, but it's more of a tactical mismatch that has led to those last few opportunities for the Rovers. So strongest, I mean, they really got to keep overperforming here. Uh, but good thing is, with only one goal down, all it takes is one moment, one spark of brilliance like we've already seen them capable of doing to get back in this match. Jimmy Lee Noel. We're in a different number this week. He's got the number 10 shirt on. Sebastian Montero fighting in the midfield. He wins that battle with Maurizio Cross. Free kick Rovers right at half field. And you can already feel that, you know, this is this is a match that's got a different feel to it. Sure, the coaches and, and the managers, they may be thinking of this as the last opportunity to really tune the team up before the regular season. But for those players, the second that there's a cup on the field, it gets a little bit grittier. You, you have more of that physicality because these players don't just want to win. They want to be cup winners. Bernie Matthews speaking of cup winners. Part of the summer 2022 regional cup championship Atlanta Rovers FC squad. Ball's played at the top of the 18. Sam Johnson brings it down out of the air. Johnson shot on goal deflected off of Harris Huskovich. 
Huskovich, perfect timing to deflect that ball out for a throw in for Rovers. Sam Johnston was on goal, great touch to bring it down out of the air. Let's see how they capitalize. Long throw right into the 18. It's gonna be headed off Krabasa onto the head of Noel for a goal kick for Los Tigres. Yeah, and, in, and with that last opportunity, especially seeing Johnson right there up at the top, this is why we saw it at the beginning of the game. Rovers have so much firepower that you almost are guaranteed that they're going to score one or two goals no matter what you do. So the answer here for Strongest is they need to score back because that last shot attempt was not anything that the back line of Club the Strongest did wrong. It's just that when you have players that can deliver a cross like that, that can take the ball out of the air with two touches and put a shot on goal, there's only so much you can do. So uh, a nil-nil scoreline was never in the cards. It clearly isn't here. And I would make a strong guess that the Nets are going to ripple at least a few more times here tonight. Going to be a throw in for Los Tigres. Daron finds Frank Combe. One touch pass to Lopez. Flick to the far post. Can he get there, Daron? Nope. JoJo comes off his line once again with great timing. Brings it down out of the air. Quick throw out to the right side. Steve Ramirez, lots of space in front. Steve pushed it up the right side for Titulayo. I'm sorry, that's Kai Bennett. Kai just had too much of a heavy touch there. Let's McKinnon Claire easily shield him off and keep possession. Come up the left side for Rovers. Yeah, throw in for Rovers. Rovers capitalizing off their chances early. You know, the first four weeks of this regional cup, it took them a while to get going. Scored in the first 10 minutes of the game scary for Los Tigres but so far they've composed themselves calmed down a little bit like you mentioned a couple of times the first two minutes of the game it was all Los Tigres let's see if they can find that magic once again yeah I mean so far from what we've seen not only in this matchup but also in this cup competition overall is that Los Tigres they like that that one pass that kind of unlocks the defense they're not necessarily a team that's going to try to play through you tiki taka style they're going to break you with one ball through and so far i mean they found a few of those they just need to make it more consistent they need to find that in a situation that doesn't expose them to the back noel and cross with a battle over on the far side of the pitch at midfield great play in there by the two players it's going to be a little feisty out there Referee's there to break things up. Going to be a free kick for Rovers. Yeah, cards are going to be staying in the pocket, but I definitely wonder for how much longer. I mean, obviously not nothing too crazy just yet, but like we said before, you can kind of feel the grittiness here. And yeah, just with the replay, it's just a two-footed tackle, goes to ground, doesn't get the ball. It's going to be a, it's going to be a free kick every time there. I mean, Matthews is going to take this free kick. Daron, Montero, Johnson, Noel, Delane at the back post. Ball's played in. 50-50 ball in the air. Modinho brings it down. Nice defensive playing here from Ramirez. Puts him right back to the feet of the Rovers. Frank Combe, who played a heck of a game last week from his defensive midfield position. A goal and an assist. He's the maestro out there for Rovers. They go as he goes. Krabase plays it out to the left side. Lots of white shirts swarm in Los Tigres in their back line. Big clearance. Big necessity clearance there from Krabasa. 50-50 ball in the air. One by Claire. Grand Combe pushes it out to the right side. A little heavy touch. Brings it back down to his feet. Matthews is going to reset. Look up. Switch fields. Lots of space out here on the left. Rovers just look so comfortable in possession right now. Strongest are starting to come forward. If they can find something with this press, it'd be huge, but... Ooh. Jojo's got a little bit more work to do here to clean up. Huskovich. One of the great additions in the offseason here for Los Tigres, Harris Huskovich. Bennett plays it back to Siraj. Just a bit too heavy, couldn't keep it on line there for Kai Bennett. It's going to be a throw in for Rovers. Yeah, but I feel like that little sequence of play is exactly what Club the Strongest need to get back to. We saw it for the first three minutes. It's really been absent for the last 15 and just came back there. 
The problem is that Rovers have kept Strong is so pushed back that the only balls they've gone forward are these long clearance, not really looking for a target, just looking to get it as far away from the goal as possible. That's the kind of balls they've been getting through. But the second that they're able to break that back line, able to settle the ball with their fullback, settle the ball with their midfield, they can find that killer through ball, and that's where they're looking dangerous. As long as Rovers are keeping pressed up, they haven't been able to find that ball. Yeah, that's not quite going to be the killer ball they need, but that attack quickly turned over. Easy for Jorge. Killing a little time inside his own 18. Going to force Kai to draw him in. Pick it up. Look at all the space out here on the right side for Matthews to work with. Frank Combe. Very comfortable on the ball, confident. Midfield's bunching up a little bit. Good ball, bring it back to the goalkeeper, reset. Good ball from McCann and Claire. Can he beat JoJo? He cannot, mistake from Sandoval. Didn't get the clearance that he wanted. We're gonna have a throw in for Rovers, deep in the defensive territory of Los Tigres. They capitalized last time we're down here. Put one in the back of the net. Jair Figueroa Lopez. Hard for him to switch the ball here. Looks like a push in the back there from Krabasa. It's going to be a free kick right at the top of the 18, not inside the box. It will not be a penalty. Free kick on top of the box here for Atlanta Rovers FC. We're in the 20th minute. Atlanta Rovers FC taking on Club the Strongest Atlanta. 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup Final. Yeah. And here, sorry, just to cut you off here, replay shows. And you can just see it's just a push in the back. When you're going up, especially in that defensive third, you can body people. As a goal, as a defender, you kind of want to let your man know he's there, especially just put him a little off balance when he's going for a header. But the second that your arms start to stretch out, that's an easy call. Um, lack of discipline. And this is a very, very dangerous situation, especially when we think back at, you know, how did Rovers find at least half of their goals versus coaches FC last time? It was offset pieces. They are very, very, very happy to take a set piece in a location like this. Duron, Francombe, Noel, all hovering over this ball. All three probably chomping at the bit. What a great position for a free kick. Not as easy as it looks. You gotta figure out a way to get the ball up and have it come down at the right time. Jojo's gonna set up his five man wall. It's gotta be on goal. They scored a nice indirect free kick last week, did Rovers. Nice misdirection, shot on goal, deflected, still bounced inside the 18. Sam Johnson using his big body to shield Ramirez off the ball, but Ramirez is able to win that, cleared, but right back to the feet of Chris Ramos for Rovers. Coming in hard was Titilayo on Fran Combe. Referee stops play, it will be a free kick for Rovers right on the far side of the pitch. Titilayo still down. I don't think he did anything on purpose or malicious as Frank Cohn um, was able to get right back up. Titileo is still down. That was close. And, and looking at the replay here, I want to see. This ball just does gets away from Sean Johnson. Played out to the right here. A bit of a, I'm going to be honest, a bit of a hospital pass to the right wing here. Yeah, he, he just lays too hard into that ball. Wasn't going to get to it in time. And that's kind of the point of a defender where, you know, it's the English mentality. It's either the man or the ball. And that time, it wasn't able to get the ball, so it ended up being the man. I think that's another card shown. And also, correction, I, uh, something I said earlier, there was another yellow, so this should be the second yellow shown to club the strongest. I'm not entirely sure who received that first yellow. We'll let you guys know um, as, our, as our team gets back to us here. But So yeah, already, club the strongest there. Kind of leaving that leg in there a little bit too long. They're, they're making their presence felt in this game, but unfortunately, the biggest place it hasn't been felt yet is in the back of the Rover's goal. Noel with the free kick. Frank Combe was creeping in at that near post. He saw the ball coming right for his head, beaten to it by Los Tigres. Rovers earned themselves a corner. A couple of free kicks here in the last, what, 45 seconds for yeah. Atlanta Rovers. Here's another set piece off a corner from the right side. And I'll be honest, I don't think that any of this is really, have any of these uh, crosses have really been wasted. I wish Rovers were an ISP provider because this service has been phenomenal. They, they've been finding their men at the near post, at the back post nearly every time. So this is just not, this isn't sustainable for Strongest. They need to get this ball out and away because if you give Rovers more of these chances, they're going to find one. Got Delane at the back post. Darone cut to the near post, short corner. 
Sam Johnson gives it back to Noel. Noel goes into the ground, near post, flick into the inside, cleared away from Los Tigres. Nice set piece play there, unsuccessful, but nice set piece play there by Rovers. Stripped on the left side was Frank Holm. Here comes Titulayo. Tries to play it across the middle, just too many white shirts in transition. Rovers win the ball back, Ramos brings it back to Valdivinos, who's gonna trap, reset. Captain McConan Clare, the Moroccan is in possession out here on the left side. Syracuse, New York native, plays it down the left, looking for Modinho Delane, cleared out one touch by Harris Huskovich, throw in Rovers, right in front of their own bench. 25th minute, Atlanta Rovers FC on top of club, the strongest, 1-0 in the 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup. They played in week three, 1-1 one, one draw. It's kind of the exact same game we've got right now, back and forth, Rovers just able to capitalize off that one chance they've had so far. Los Tigres started out strong, cooled off a little bit. Let's see if they can get themselves back into this game. Nice defensive playing in the midfield from Sebastian Montero. Forcing the ball back to the Los Tigres goalkeeper. Sandoval cleared it up the middle. One touch through the middle, looking for Bennett from cross. Can Bennett use that big body to get around Rennie Matthews? Kai Bennett battling Rennie Matthews. Cleared out for a throw in for Los Tigres. Nice transition back in the middle of the box from the captain, McCain and Claire. That's just good solid defending coming from the Rover side. They're great, they're experienced, they're willing to go. Not gonna give it anything up easily like that. It's gonna be nipped off of Los Tigres by Delane. Throw in for Rovers. Daniel Delane, new addition to the roster this week. Making his presence known early. Luke Sexton, Justin Sexton made their way back to the lineup last week. Justin is out with a neck injury. Not positive why there is an absence of Luke Sexton, but made his presence immediately known when he checked in in the second half last week. Excited to see this Rovers squad at full strength come March 18th. Misdirection of the clearance for Rovers. It'll be a throw in for Los Tigres. Yeah, and this is a really good position to receive that thrown as well for, for Club the Strongest. They're almost in this weird position where they don't necessarily want to send everybody to the absolute top formation at the start. What they need to be doing is they need to start buying some room for their midfield, for their backfield line. So in a position like this where you draw Rovers back towards their goal, you open up the space in your defensive midfield where your main playmakers can actually distribute. That is where they've looked the da most dangerous. That's where they've looked, you know, the strongest. Be a foul on Noel, free kick, Los Tigres. One thing that I've really noticed that Club the Strongest have cleaned up this week so far is the large gaps in the midfield. They have each of their midfielders playing their position, doing their jobs. It's not so easy this week for the opposing team to work, work that ball up through the middle, forcing Rovers to play the ball wide. Successful so far as you see the score, 1-0 favor to the Rovers. But the last five minutes, Club the Strongest have played very well, trying to milk their way back into this game. Free kick on the far side of the field. Probably gonna be a right foot end swinger to the far post. You need to crash in early, because that ball's gonna be swinging away. And it is gonna be swinging right to the far post, back inside. Lopez able to get a foot on it. Jamal Titileo saw it bouncing. His eyes got too big. It's gonna be a throw in for Los Tigres once again. Lots of movement inside the box. Pablo running towards the thrower, taking Sebastian with him, creating some more space inside the 18. Nobody at the far post for Los Tigres. That would be a mighty toss. Ah, he's lining up for it. Let's see across. We'll take the long throw once again. We've seen him do it a few times so far here in this regional cup. Ball's played in. Near post. Bouncing, bouncing. Ball shot right off of the knees of, Van of Sandoval into the gut of Valdivinos. Lucky play there from Rovers. Sebastian yeah. Sandoval leaving his center back spot. Captain almost ties it up there, Steven. Yeah, that was, I, I preach this almost every week. Sometimes you just need to put the ball in the corridor of uncertainty. Chaos can be your friend. And it very nearly was the ally that, that Club the Strongest needed to equalize this game. So if they just keep putting that ball there, eventually it's gonna come back, but can they put it? Rovers on the break. Here comes Noel, Jimmy Nguyen Noel plays inside the 18, shot on goal! It just sails over the bar wide left. Chris Doron Aguero trying to make it 2-0 in favor of the Rovers. Just a bit too heavy, goal kick. 
Los Tigres as it looks like Maurizio Cross is down and you can hear him yelling from all the way up here. Let's hope he's going to yeah. be okay as the referee goes down to check. Right, and while we do that, I'll make sure he's okay. Check out this replay. It's a great uh, run down that right wing, but I really just cannot stress enough the service that Rovers have been finding, getting the ball from their wide to inside position. It's honestly one of the trickiest things for a team to do at this level of play, really finding consistent players who can get that ball from the flank to your attackers when it matters the most. And Rovers have done it perfectly. And what this is doing to Strongest is they have to just defend everything. They have to defend in the center. They have to defend out wide. And it's just starting to stretch them. Nice hustle from Noel. Cross is still out there barking at the officials. It's going to be a throw in for Los Tigres. I'm not too sure what he's upset about. He'll find something. Is it really a cup final if everybody is not yelling? get things figured out here. It's going to be a free kick or a throw in for Los Tigres. Looks like it will be a throw. Throw in's going to go down the line. A couple of deflections in the air. It looks like it went off of Los Tigres, but they are going to continue with the throw. Yeah, inching down the field. We've got 15 minutes left in the second half. Strongest are going to want to keep pressing up here. They don't want to be going back into this locker room empty-handed. If you can equalize this game, whew, at the half, it's going to be dangerous, but they're looking. They just aren't finding a way to break through. They're not finding the chink in the Rover's armor. And frankly, I haven't found it either. Claire pushes it up the left side. There's two yellow shirts there. Huskovich wins it out of the air. It's going to be a throw in for Rovers right in front of their bench. Looking like we have a, an unwanted ball boy today. Thank you. Delane throws it to the feet of Johnson. Johnson, one-on-one -on -one with Huskovich, plays it across the middle. Lopez and Montero inside the 18. Josh Francombe's got a lot of space on the right side. He finds the right side. Ramos looks up. He beats to Talayo. Ball's played inside. Bouncing inside the 18. Goal score, puts it to the far post. It's going to sail over the line. Can Ramos keep it in bounds? He cannot. It will be a goal kick for Los Tigres. You know, Stephen, after that goal that they scored right at the ninth minute, Atlanta Rovers FC had a lot of trouble inside the 18 ever since. Are they trying to force it? Get a little too excited? Yeah, I, I mean, that goal, like you mentioned, right at the nine minutes, that was off of a breakaway. That was off of Rovers getting men forward. And still, every time they've done that, they're looking more and more dangerous, but it feels like Strongest, they're sitting off a little bit more. They're ready for the pressure Rovers are going to give them, and that makes it that much harder to find their way in. That's where we go to the other dimension of the Rovers attacking game, and that is that outside to inside cross. That is where they look dangerous. If they hit a few more of those, especially from that right wing to the central, I think they're going to find more, but it's still a lot of labor for them right now. Nice defensive play there by Christopher Ramos to get a foot in on Jamal Titelaya, who had some speed and was burning down that left side. It's gonna be a throw in for Los Tigres. Far post, Valdivino steps off his line. Very close there, Pablo was driving inside that 18. Cross unable to keep it in bounds. Throw in Rovers, right in front of that Los Tigres bench. Looks like Delane will take the throw for Rovers. I'd like to thank everybody watching on the Atlantic Soccer Media Group YouTube channel, 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup. Don't forget, March 18th, the season begins, week one. Spring UPSL Georgia Premier Division season. Check out social media channels, nonprosoccer.com, upsl.com for scheduling and times. Getting started here in a few weeks. Rovers getting started once again. They're up 1-0. Noel tries to go far post. I'm unsure if he was going far post or if that was a shot. Either way, it hits off the American crossbar. It will be a goal kick for Los Tigres. 
Both teams really unable to find any offensive firepower in the last 25 to 20 minutes, Stephen. It's just been a midfield battle so far. Entertaining, but just a, just a midfield battle that I'm not sure which team is really, really confident enough to come out on top so far. Yeah, I mean, I think if we ignore the first 10 minutes of the game, so ignoring that first goal, I think it is really dead even. I'd give a slight advantage to Rovers, so I think their build-up and, and movement into that final third has just been that much more consistent. But Club the Strongest, they're not lacking in the same ways they were in those first few minutes. They do look competitive. They found multiple opportunities to find that killer through ball. And, you know, but especially if it isn't for this, this Rovers goalkeeper coming off his line last time, these are some very dangerous opportunities that Strongest are starting to find their way into. Elaine will take this throw right here in front of us. Not much movement down the line, but that's where he goes. Right to the feet of Huskovic. Huskovic to Ramirez. I'm sorry, that was Pablo. Heavily touched by Pablo, giving it right back to Rovers, who in fact play a hospital ball themselves and give it right back to Los Tigres, who give it right back to Rovers. Frank Combe finding Noel to Montero. Back to Noel. Jimmy Lee Noel, can he get behind Sandoval? Noel inside the 18. Jimmy Lee Noel tries a shot. But Sebastian Sandoval, the captain, gets a foot in to stop that goal-scoring opportunity from Rovers, but gives he gives it right back to the midfield of Atlanta Rovers FC, who are going to look to reset with McCone and Claire. The captain's got Medino to his left, who he finds. medino has got two yellow shirts on him. Siraj, Huskovic, now Ramirez joining the party. Medino forced to drop it back to the captain, McCone and Claire. Big switch, looking for Steven Johnson. Samuel Johnson. I was looking for the former. He's a little bit far off there. You but play on Tuesdays, right? Right, right. Tuesdays, that's right. Goalkeeper. <laughs> so I believe the, the entirety of our production staff is. Nice playing down this right side. Titileo finds Pablo. Pablo looks up. Nice through ball. Jamal Titileo goes far post. Nice foot save from Jorge Valdivinos. Jorge Valdivinos keeping club the strongest off the board. The Ackworth Georgia native comes alive in the 30th minute. That's Rowan, Los Tigres. That is the second time he has saved them from, from the equalizer here. Phenomenal shift so far from the goalkeeper, and that's what you need from your man behind the six. You need him to be the difference maker, especially in a cup final like this. Sloppy playing here from Rovers continues. It's going to be a corner. Los Tigres. Yeah, looking on this replay, just freeing up this right wing in the attack. Left side center back comes out. Beautiful ball in behind. Like we mentioned, when Tigres, they are in possession. They find the opportunities. It's just so rare that they're finding themselves in the right points of possession in order to enable that. But all it's going to take is one. Yep. Corner kick from the right side. Ramirez. Looks like this will be an outswinger with his right foot. He goes to the far post. Just a little too far. Nobody at the back post for those Tigres. Here comes Rovers. Noel is on his bike. He's got Titilayo in front. First half goal scorer, Jair Figueroa Lopez, finds Johnson. Johnson looks up. And Dorona Guerrero just goes to the left of the post. Did Sebastian get a hand on that? Looks like he did. He may have actually taken a flexion off the defender right off the shot here. And we're going to see on the replay. Great way to move this ball forward, moving down the sides. Rovers, they're in uh, they're in this attacking phase. Yeah, it looks like it does just take okay. that deflection. Yep. So actually very lucky for Club the Strongest, because if that takes a little less of a deflection, that's one of those balls where goalkeeper, you know, if, if that ball takes any sort of movement from the point gets kicked, that is where balls very, very easily find the back of the net. So Rovers. We saw the nice corner kick set piece earlier in this half. Can they make it happen again? Looks like it got away from Johnson, but he clears it over to the right side. Far post attempt here. Can Modinho keep it in? Pressured by Cross. Looks like it's going to go off Cross. It'll be a corner again for Rovers FC. It's your Cross getting his body in the way just in time, really. Another corner. In the 38th minute, Rover's still on top of Club the Strongest, 1-0. Corner's going to be taken from Noel. Plays it short to Lopez. Noel. Looks like it's a handball inside the box, and the referee waves it off. And the shot on goal, and hits the top of the crossbar, bouncing inside the six. Johnson! 
Samuel Johnson, fee fi fo fum The big man puts the Rovers up 2-0. They're not always the prettiest, but you'll take them as they come. It's just building the pressure. Rovers, that goal was due for so long. Played in the box. I agree with the no handball. It was to the body. Good shot here from the left. Beautiful initial save, but the problem is it's just not enough. Ball bounces in the corridor of uncertainty. We said it at the other end, that chaos can be your friend in the attacking third. It wasn't quite enough for the strongest, but it will be a very reliable ally for Rovers. Once again, maybe not you know a FIFA highlight right there, maybe not a Puskas award, but in a cup final, you'll take anything. And sometimes, goals like that, that's the sweetest way you can get them. Sam Johnson Atlanta Rovers FC goal making his starting Daniel spot Johnson known. 39th minute. He wants to remain in the 11 and he's making a good case so far today as he just brings something a little bit different than Alejandro Rodriguez. Johnson able to hold the ball up a little bit better. Bigger body inside that 18. Their motors are the same. It's going to be an interesting battle this season between the coach Rodriguez and Johnson. Yeah, speaking of Johnson, he's just a presence in that box. That's what you need out of a striker. You need somebody who you just always have the feeling that the ball's anywhere around him, he's going to put it on net. And so far, that's what he's delivered, and especially so in the last few minutes. Great movement once again from Rovers. Harris Huskovich from the... Only stars so far this game for Club the Strongest. Here comes Kai Bennett, goal scorer last week in the semifinal. Looks like he's brought down by Clear. It will be a free kick for Los Tigres right at the top of the 18 on the right side of it. Nice opportunity. Put one on the board before half. Yeah, they're going to need to find something here because keep in mind, I don't think Rovers is the kind of team that's just going to go in a halftime and be like, all right, guys, we're up two. Let's park the bus. Let's not score any more goals. All we got to do is hang on. No, they're going to keep pressing. They're, they want to secure this game by three, by four, by five goals. So strongest, they got to find something here eventually. Watch for this. I don't think this is going to be a direct attempt on goal. I think they're going to be looking for some sort of crossover into the midfield and then a shot. But three guys standing over it, they may be coming up with something tricky. Four-man wall for Rovers. Kai Bennett and his left foot are standing over this free kick. The goal scorer last week. Official having some conversations with some of the fans who disagreed with the non-call inside the box. And he just is told to go home. The official is sending someone home before the first half even ends. His day is over. Los Tigres, Kai Bennett over this free kick. Valdivinos at the back post. He's going to trust his wall. Los Tigres put a man to the right of the wall of Rovers. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting decision. He can do quite a few things. One right now, he's just trying to block the goalkeeper's vision, but also could directly receive the ball if he takes a step or two to his right. A lot of opportunities. The assistant referee has entered the field to make sure the line is right. Kai Bennett, Los Tigres down two. Bennett goes low, deflects off the wall. Huskovich comes out of his defensive spot. Nice defensive playing here from Atlanta Rovers. They got a nice counter attack. They put it across the middle. Frank Cone trying to find Johnson. Sandoval steps off his line and gets a crucial clearance, but sitting in an offside position was Pablo. It will be a free kick in the middle of the park for Rovers. In the 43rd minute. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest here in the 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup Final. Regular season begins March 18th. Both of these teams would love to enter that season with the Regional Cup trophy. I'm with you, I'm with you Max, that was a nice ball. Everybody on your offensive line just watched it roll straight through and out for a Los Tigres throw. They were probably a little nervous about their offside positioning. Yeah, I think that every single member, right when that ball was kicked, they looked to their left, they looked to the right, they saw all defenders in front of them and were like, ah, ah we'll make some more runs after the half. Ramirez tried to turn, just got his foot on top of the ball, rolls up under it. 
throw in right at midfield for Rovers. Darone asking for it. Delane gives it to him, but Huskovich was there to give it right back to the feet of Delane. Looks like it's going to be a Los Tigres throw right in front of this Rovers bench as they have four bodies up working. Looks like Carrillo, Umbomio, and I can see Alejandro Rodriguez. Looks like we may see some substitutions at half or early on in the second half. Siraj, still in possession for Los Tigres. Finds Cross. Let's hear Cross. Back to Siraj, just a bit too heavy. Frank Holm intercepts in the midfield. Josh Frank Holm. Nice overlap here from Figueroa. Just wasn't able to find him was Daron. Going once again for Atlanta Rovers FC. Not much time left here in the first half. Just kind of a waste ball right there from Delane. Puts it back to the goalkeeper, Jojo Sandoval. Yeah, that's really one where you're kind of hoping for an assist from the sun. Not quite in the right position for that, but that uh, competent goalkeeping. Help the team build out. Maybe one more chance is in the card here for strongest. Comes Maurizio Cross, driving through the midfield. Through ball attempt, looking for Titilayo. Valdivinos was forced to step off his line. Chris Ramos allowed the runner into the 18. And Cross still barking at the official. Needs to be careful. Don't want to see another yellow here. Valdivinos going to waste a little time. Put the ball down. Lots of space here for Claire. There's a long ball looking for the big man. Johnson unable to bring it down in possession. Bad pass here from Sandoval. Here comes Daron. He's inside the 18. Nice defensive recovery from Huskovich, who forces a corner for Atlanta Rovers FC. And you, you got to clean that up. You're already down two. Got to clean that up. And we just saw from the fourth official, we will have two minutes added for stoppage time. Two minutes added for stoppage time as Jimmy Noel will take this corner for Rovers. Too many mistakes inside the 18 of Club the Strongest. Ball goes to the far post. Bounce inside the 18. Shot attempt, sails wide right. It'll be another goal kick for the Strongest. Lots to talk about at halftime for Los Tigres, that's for sure. And it's like I just said, you got to start cleaning up those silly, unnecessary mistakes inside your own area. Yeah, I mean, they've made some progress, but there's still more to go. Yeah. They still need to find, especially how do they really enable their attack. I think defensively, they've really... They've really solidified it. I would even say that that last goal was more of a set piece chaos kind of situation where I don't think you can really plan against that. Whereas right now, they just need to figure out how to score. Pizzolayo. He's been a, what they call a journeyman here in the UPSL. Cornerstone top pro, club the strongest. You throw in here for Los Tigres. Not too much of that two minutes of stoppage left. You see the coach for Rovers still talking with the fourth official, wondering why that handball wasn't called inside the box. You know, I, I'm a coach. I'm letting it go because I was awarded with a goal not too much after that. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those if, if we did have VAR technology. Pick, would, pick, your, pick your battles, right? Right, exactly. If, if it was VAR technology, I would, I would be shocked if it wasn't at least reviewed, but... I understand the reasoning. Ooh, Cross barely got his head on that one. It's going to be a goal be kick for Rovers, and that's going to end the half. Free kick to the far post. Maurizio Cross didn't get what he wanted. So we're going to go into the halftime break. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest 2 0. You know, we mentioned a couple times, Stephen, right out of the gate, Los Tigres had two immediate opportunities, just couldn't capitalize. Ninth minute, Jair Figueroa Lopez puts Los T or uh, I'm sorry, puts Atlanta Rovers on top with a beautiful misdirection back to the near post. One nil. Sam Johnson battle, 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 continued to battle. Rovers go up two nil. What do Los Tigres 
have to discuss at halftime to get themselves back into this contest. I think they really need to break down what are we doing with this attacking play because so often we've seen them just go route one. We've seen them try to go over the top and it really hasn't been working. What I want to see more from their attacking players at, in this second half is I want to see guys check in. I want to see them receive the ball maybe in a little bit of a lower position, bring their midfield and defense into the equation, give it back to those midfielders, and those are the players who are going to find your through ball. Because when they can get the ball into their midfielder's feet with room to play in front of them and not hounded by three guys pressing, they found fantastic balls. But when they've played out of the back, straight route one, straight Hail Mary kind of stuff, they've just come up short. And they're going to need buckets of goals here. Because I don't think Atlanta Rovers, I don't think their account's done just yet. One more half to go. Someone's going to lift the regional cup. And someone's championship dreams will be gone with the wind. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest Atlanta. 2-0. We'll be back after the break. dangerous and go near post with it or he can be safe and go far post goalkeeper's leaving the near post open he's going to trust his wall and he does go near post oh what a shot atlanta city fc with the Petinto did not a tackle by les haji was difficult and hard and harsh even the referee says play on nice reception to turn by ty he's got Ebert mascaro ty goes oh, far post atlanta united Balls played in, and unable to keep it out of the net is Cosmos. He's running out on C's. Near post, corner. Off the head, nice save, and it goes in the back of the net! C's United FC able to tie the game in the 80. Put some service into the box, headed up in the air by Felix. Ball still bouncing in the six. Headed away off the line by Rovers, headed back into play. Shot on goal, Rovers!
dangerous and go near post with it, or he can be safe and go far post. Goalkeeper's leaving the near post open. He's going to trust his wall. And he does go near post! Oh, what a shot. Atlanta City FC with a... Tinto did not. A tackle by Les Haji was difficult and hard and harsh even. The referee says play on. Nice reception and turn by Ty. He's got Ebert Mascaro. Ty goes oh, far post! Atlanta United... Ball's played in, and unable to keep it out of the net is Cosmos. He's running out on C's. Near post, corner. Off the head, nice save, and it goes in the back of the net! C's United FC able to tie the game in the 80. Put some service into the box, headed up in the air by Felix. Ball still bouncing in the six. Headed away off the line by Rovers, headed back into play. Shot on goal, Rovers! Welcome back to Jonesboro, Georgia. We are at Heinz Ward Field, Terra Stadium, UPSL Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest Atlanta. We are in the middle of the war to settle the score. As we said before, a 1-1 draw in week three. Here we are, one more half to go in the final. Who do you got, Steven? I mean, I, we got a great matchup for us right here. Already, Atlanta Rovers have gone off to a flying start. Club the Strongest haven't looked terrible, but they just really haven't found that last uh, last little piece of finesse to get the ball into an attacking position. And this may be a preseason competition, but this has all the makings of a phenomenal cup final finish. And there you see it. That is what it's all about. Who's going to take home the regional cup trophy? We got 45 minutes to play. Will it be Atlanta Rovers FC? Will it be Club the Strongest Atlanta? As the kids say, get your popcorn ready because we got 45 more minutes of some fantastic soccer ahead. Club the Strongest down two. Let's see if they made the halftime adjustments and let's see what Rovers have left in the tank to maintain this 2 0 lead. As Strongest are going to go from right to left in the yellow and black, and going from left to right in the white and red will be Atlanta Rovers FC. And we're going to get underway for the second half of action in just a few seconds. JoJo's still getting his final preparations in. Looks like the trainer got him good. Somewhat of an important member of the uh, <laughs> Club of the You really want to make sure that guy's where he needs to be, so well worth the wait, I feel. And we are underway for the second 45. Maurizio Cross starts out with the ball, immediately finding the feet of Titulayo. Maybe, maybe, maybe Los Tigres will play a little bit more possession-based this half. No more force balls. Get the ball to the feet of Maurizio Cross, which, Steven, I don't think they did that much in the offensive third in the first half. Do you agree? 
No, they really haven't. They've just, like you just saw right there, they just are sending balls forward and hoping for the best. They have some phenomenal through ball players. They have really good quality. They have great vision. They just haven't found a way to enable them yet. Rovers have kept this game at such a frantic pace yes. that they feel like they just need to go end to end to end. Whereas, especially if, the, if their manager can help them calm down, think through this problem, they have the tools to win this game. They just haven't utilized them yet. It's, it's like they're trying to keep up with the Rovers. Right. Don't play their style, play your style. I like what you said, I could not agree more. I couldn't figure out a way to put that into words. That's a great, great point. If you're watching at home, Los Tigres, they've got Maurizio Cross in the midfield, number 15, you see him all alone in the midfield right now. I'd like him to get more possession base, like we said before, get more yep. possession base, find Siraj, find the wingers, find some space in behind. I mean, look at Rennie, he's all by himself. Attack that back line. Yeah, you really need to, to start giving them some problems beyond just, oh, this ball's coming in the air, let me head it out. Yes, they exactly. They need those attacking players to receive the ball and to enable, instead of every time you play the ball to an attacker, they're going to goal. Turn back to your midfield, trust in the quality you have there, they are going to win. Here we go, Titulayo, able to find some space, and behind Matthews, Jamal goes down, nice save from Rennie! Jorge Valdovinos there all day once again, Rennie Matthews playing some stout defense, just at the last second, Titulayo unable to find the back of the net. It's still 2-0. Yeah, I mean, obviously phenomenal goalkeeping there, but I think worth more of a shout is phenomenal retreat there from the center back, and we're going to see this through ball forward. And it is it is this ball that's played to the right side, over the top. Very rarely do you find Rovers caught out like this, Absolutely. but look at his way, just putting pressure on the striker and preventing him from getting a clean strike. Almost makes the goalkeeper's job that much simpler. I said last week, and it's continued this week for number two, Rennie Matthews. The Venezuelan, he's played a picture-perfect tournament so far, and he kept his perfection up with that. I mean, Stephen, that last little bit of just that little bump, I think, threw Jamal off his track and was yes. able to keep him out of the back of the net. And you see Rovers back in possession, deflected off of Los Tigres. It'll be a throw-in for the home team right in front of this Los Tigres bench. Ramos finds the feet of Montero. Montero tries to go around Carbasa. Carbasa puts his big body in the way and forces a goal kick for his club, the strongest Atlanta team. Just two minutes into this second half, Stephen. Three minutes, and I apologize. And fireworks already. Yeah, and you're really starting to feel this more cerebral style. Bit of a messy giveaway. Can Rovers capitalize? No, JoJo cleans up his own mess and gets a clearance out of the 18. Battle inside the 50-50 right there with Matthews and Titulayo. Player's gonna bring it back to Valdivinos, who's been the saving grace so far for Rovers, Steven. He really has, I mean, I think it's just everyone on this Rovers side, everyone's just doing their job and oh, look at this attack. Johnson's gotta watch his offside. Daron tried to put him through, just didn't get anything behind that pass. Here come Los Tigres, another through ball attempt. Just wasn't on the same page with Titulayo was Ramirez. We said before, calm down. Yeah. You had lots of space in front. I would say take a few more touches, allow the defense to come to you. Yeah, it, it's really about playing your strength. You mentioned it perfectly before. Strongest are being forced to play Rover's game right now. Well, I'll tell you something. Strongest attackers, they're just not fast enough to completely outpace the defense of Rovers. They need to play smart. They need to play with more off the ball movement, come back in, make the defender make a decision, and that's where you're gonna be able to capitalize. And they, they, they still really haven't embraced that yet. They're still going direction number one all the way up. Let's find a goal over top. Got Ramos wide open down here on the bottom of the screen here. Got Alejandro Rodriguez looking to check in at half field. He is standing to the left of the fourth official. Rodriguez, six goals in the fall 2022 UPSL Georgia Premier Division season. Alejandro missed about six, seven weeks of action. Still able to put six on the board, finishing third in the golden boot race. Alejandro's going to be looking to capitalize on those six goals this coming season. It's going to be a foul in the defensive third of Rovers on Los Tigres. Free kick Rovers going to be taken by Fran Combe, who's been another boss in the midfield. So confident, such a good player. Like I said before, I cannot wait to see a full, healthy Rovers squad. You know, Luke Sexton, Justin Sexton, mixing it up with the likes of Josh Fran Combe, Sebastian Montero. Come March 18th, it's going to be fascinating, Stephen. It really will be. I mean, I think they just have so much to build on. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination just yet. Montero 
stripping cross in the midfield. Finds Noel. Noel gets a little bit too heavy of a touch, trying to go far post as Modinho Delane was creeping at that back door. It's going to go out for Elos Tigres. Goal kick. And that substitution is coming down right now, Stephen. Who's going to check out for Rodriguez? And that is going to be Sam and Johnson. You know, Alejandro's a great player. I love him. I mean, it's, it's, no, it's no joke or no stranger to everyone that I talk like I love him because I do. But I don't agree with this sub right here. I don't think he does either. He's got the head down a little bit. And I think it's been a phenomenal day for, for Johnson today. He hasn't been the flashiest player. He's not the guy who's you're going to put on the posters that this is the man who single-handedly scores a goal. But he is, where, he is where the striker needs to be. He is making himself big, and he's putting himself in the box. So he, it, it definitely is going to be a very interesting substitution. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I... Um Rodriguez is going to play at the front. Looks like the front right to the right of Daron. And then we have Nazario and Bomeo up at half field looking to check in as well. And Bomeo had two goals in the fall season. Brittany Matthews also had two goals Second leading scorer on the team for Rovers. Nice head back into the inside for Ramos, looking for Noel, just a bit too heavy. Sandoval able to get there first and get a clearance, but it goes right back to the feet of Rovers. Siraj closing down along with Ramirez. Montero not making it easy. Los Tigres win that battle. Siraj goes down hurt, holding his knee, maybe his shin. Myron Ed Siraj, another new addition to this Los Tigres squad. There's a battle over there between Carbasa and Rodriguez. Carbasa are going to win the first battle. Free kick Los Tigres inside that own 18. Yeah, it definitely was a dangerous position. Luckily for, for Los Tigres, Rodriguez did get the handball. He went up, and it was one of those things where he's going down, ball's coming up, it hits him in the hand, and, and unfortunately just happens sometimes. But definitely he's working himself into dangerous situations. Certainly he's giving the team a different dynamic than, uh, than Sam Jansen, Johnson was, but I mean, heck, he, he's leading the score sheet. Uh, he's leading the, the score sheet for Rovers for a reason, and it's definitely showcasing that Rovers they're not done with this game yet. They don't think two goals is an acceptable score for them. They want more. Yeah, Rodriguez is like that pit bull. He's always going to be biting at your heels. He's not going to stop. Not going to stop. Johnson's going to be a little bit more cool, calm, collected, hold the ball up a little bit, allow his teammates to get behind him. Yeah. Just different players, both great players, but bring a completely different aspect to the game. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how this also changes uh, Jimmy Noel on the right wing, the number 10 position, because he's trying to play as more of an inside yeah. forward, and I can definitely see the two of them. It looks like he's pushing in a little bit more, Stephen, with, the, with yeah. the entrance of Rodriguez. Didn't mean to cut you off, but he goes in. It's, it's like... On defense, when they're not in possession, he comes a little bit more wide. But as soon as they maintain position, look at it, look, he goes he goes further inside. I like so that. So it's, like it's, it's great movement from Noel. It's nice. <laughs> Darone isn't stopping. Chris Darone, defended by Sandoval. Cuts on the inside. Darone deflected off Sandoval. Noel, wide open to this far right of the 18. Shot on goal by Noel. Just too heavy. He could not get it down on frame. It's going to be another goal kick for Los Tigres. And Los Tigres should be counting, counting their stars that they're that lucky. I mean, there was just so much opening here. Look at this Rovers. Two men open completely onside. Unfortunately, just not able to work that ball inside quick enough. Bouncing ball, not the great. I, I think you want that shot back if you're if you're Noel. But, I mean, these are members of Rovers who are in the right position. And I like what you mentioned with Sam Johnson. In that case, he probably would have dropped off more, maybe give room for Noel. But the fact that the two of them were barreling towards gold. It doubles the targets you have yeah. to hit on that cross. Unfortunately, yep. not able to find the cleanest cross, but it's 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 there waiting. Montero unable to complete that acrobatic move in the midfield. He went to right back for the rover. Sebastian Montero, what a player. National championship winner with Atletico Atlanta in 2021. Permanent starter, 90-minute player for Rovers FC. It looks like we might be getting our We do. Yep, Nazario and Bomeo will be checking in. Who will he be coming in for? It looks like he's going to be... Looks like, actually, I see Modinho Delane making way. Number 18 played a nice little game over there on the left flank. And Bomeo will be checking in. Yeah, I think, I think just with that last ball, you kind of see just the last ounce of gasoline maybe running out of the tank. 
He's absolutely done a great job of providing the width. I think that so far Roberts have played more down that right flank, but when you play to one side, you always need to have a threat on the other flank to keep that defense spread. I don't think he's been the pr prime playmaker of this team, but he's done a great job enabling and keeping that attack yes. very wide. W w what do you say? You're not flashy, you're not fancy, but you're, do you're here to do a job, he's doing and, his he job. and he did his job. Nice bit of movement up here on the right side. Kai Bennett in possession for nice defensive play from McKenna Claire. Just taking the ball right off the feet of Kai Bennett. Clean tackle, way to win the ball from McCain and Claire. Speaking of win the ball, new podcast coming to the Atlantic Soccer Media Group Podcast Network starting next week. First guest will be the winning coach of this game. Stay tuned for more information regarding win the ball. Claire up 2-0, no need to force anything. Going to reset with Valdivinos who finds a wide open Randy Matthews. Randy's gonna drive up that right side. You see Mbomio trying to creep inside the body of Krabasa. Just couldn't find him. Those Tigres won't be able to keep that in bounds though. It will be a throw in for Rovers, deep in the defensive third of Los Tigres. Let's see if they can find a third. Yeah, looking here, this is the beautiful play that Strongest have been waiting for. This is the small little great vision passing that enables us out of the defense and requires Rovers to make a phenomenal stop the other way. I just want to see more of that. <laughs> Frank Combe tried to play a wide open Mbomio over on the left side, just a bit too heavy. It'll be a throw in for Los Tigres. We're in the 57th minute. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest Atlanta, 2023 UPSO Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. About 30 minutes plus stoppage to go. Who's going to lift the trophy? Second half, even so far, Steven. <laughs> you see what I did there? That's a good one. Yeah. I'm here all day, folks. It's going to be another throw in for Los Tigres. <laughs> As they have some movement over on the bench. Sebastian needs to be careful. Nice bit of passing here from Los Tigres in their own defensive third. Kribasa being closed down by Noel. Fine Sandoval who's being closed down by Rodriguez. Sandoval able to get a clearance, but Cross just had too many white jerseys surrounding him. Jimmy Lee Noel flicks it off of Kribasa. It will be a throw in for Rovers as they look to be churning and burning right now. They're hungry. Those second half substitutions have fresh legs, making it hard for that back three of Los Tigres. Can they hang on? Yeah, and I think that that's now is the time to deal the killing blow. If there's another goal for Rovers, I think that's the knockout that they've been waiting for. But so far, great job of, of really biding their time, waiting to find their moments. And, and I'm curious to see what's the strongest response going to be. They haven't really gone too far to the bench just yet. And I think they're, they're going to be the team that, obviously, they're the ones chasing the game. They're the ones being asked the questions. Do they have the answers? Looks like Fidel Escamilla will be checking in for Los Tigres along with Carlos Cerevellon. Speaking of Los Tigres, their new kits with their new images are available on their website, clubthestrongestatlanta.com backslash shop slash the slash the black slash the yellow slash stripes. I'd like to thank the sponsors for Club the Strongest today. Atletico Gara, Sebor Inca, Sandoval Disability Services, and Painting Crew Atlanta. We said it before, we'll say it again. These UPSL Georgia teams would not be where they are today without their fantastic sponsors. So our hats off to the sponsors today for Club the Strongest Atlanta. As they have a throw in over on the far side of the pitch, Huskovich. Yeah. The disagreement on the field between Los Tigres and the officials, Rovers throw. That's gonna put Rover, and that's gonna put Strongest back on their back foot once again. Subsea's coming in. Curious to see if it's gonna really change the way, the style that they're trying to play, or maybe they finally put the personnel in to find that over the top ball. This could be a crucial sub. It's just such a well disciplined black back line for Rovers. They're just not allowing any space for Los Tigres to work in behind. It's kind of like. They're parking the bus, trying to maintain this 2-0 lead, but there's still so much space in the midfield, so you can't call it that. 
Yeah, it's really it's this really interesting di uh, dichotomy where Rovers they almost have a press here, but they're still staying very firm at the back. Yeah. As long as their average starting position is firmly within their own defensive third, meaning it, they have to find those huge long through balls in order to find anything. But uh, may maybe they're going to be able to start pushing up. Maybe they give some fresh legs to that midfield, to those wide positions, really give them the firepower to go forward. But. Joey Lieto is going to check in for Los Tigres. He will give Steve Ramirez a breather. Ramirez battled on this left side for a good 61 minutes as he's coming to get a pat on the back from his compadre, Niles Brown. I see what they're doing here. The, the substitute that just came in number uh, four on this left side, he's not only playing as a left side center back, he's playing as a ball playing center back. He's already all the way up the pitch. They're trying to take their three-man back line and almost make, so in a three-man set, you typically have your wing backs. They're almost trying to make inside wing backs. They're okay. trying to push more people up the pitch, yep. basically turn this into a back two. And when you just need to get up the field, that makes a lot of sense. However, Rovers, number one thing, is they found through balls when strongest haven't been solid in the defense. And sure, it gives you more firepower up top, but you're taking away from that base. And remember, this is a two goal deficit. If Rovers score another goal, that's three goals. It, if you score one and they score one, it's still losing by two. So you need to stay solid at the back and solid up top. And I'm gonna be very interested to see whether Strong can find something that comes out on top, trying to play through that right side. Oh, I think they found a very cheeky ball into the midfield. Lots of space at the top of the 18. Shot on goal. Goes right into the arms of Jorge Valdivinos. Shot was by number 19, Carlos Cervellon. Just checked in. Arguably his first touch of the game was a shot on goal. Routine save for Valdivinos. Jorge Valdivinos was an Emmanuel College graduate. Making his home in between the pipes for Rovers FC. No slouch on the bench as their backup goalkeeper is Cameron Verona, Piedmont College graduate. Here comes Mbomio up that left side. Cuts it on the inside. Ball stripped in the midfield by Huskovich. What a game Harris Huskovich has had. Two games in a row in that back right position, or right back position, and has just made his presence known for a full 63 minutes so far. Escamilla plays it back to Sandoval. Sandoval needs to be careful. Rodriguez was applying a lot of pressure. This course will play it out to the right to Huskovich, who stripped. Alejandro Rodriguez! Nice save by Jojo! Alejandro still running and battling! And it just sails over the back line. Jojo Sandoval, what a save. Alejandro Rodriguez, his first attempt on goal of the game. Unsuccessful, great save by the Grayson High School goalkeeper, Jojo Sandoval. Corner kick, Atlanta Rovers. Yeah, and you're seeing, I think, that, that this starting to get to the defenders here from Strongest. A sloppy giveaway, great play here, and I don't think there's anyone whose feet you want that ball at more than Rodriguez here for Rovers. Unfortunately, just can't find his way past the keeper. That was a lot of spit on that ball. Yes. He just took it out. Honestly, I think that's the, the rubber element of the field kind of gives it more grip, but, oh, Strongest, once again, they're getting lucky to keep this. Noel puts a beautiful corner to the back post. Just getting ahead on it was Los Tigres to force another corner on the opposite side. Looks like this one will be ran down by Sebastian Montero. He will take this corner for Rovers, who still maintain a 2-0 lead. UPSL Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest in the 64th minute. The Regional Cup Trophy is sitting at half field. Who will lift the cup? Well, all signs right now say Rovers, and it's going to have to be something special for Strongest to make a shout here. Montero, bending corner, two fists on it was JoJo. The ball was going to the far post. Great save, great awareness from the Los Tigres goalkeeper that's, once again. That's such a tricky position, too. When the ball's curling back over you, you have to make that backwards punch up that you know, a lot of goalkeepers below the pressure level, it's very easy to lose that ball. It's very easy to get turned around. So great effort there to keep that out. You see it's swinging in. I think it's basically going for net if he does not clear that out. I agree. So, so great jump. Another ball played at the back post. Rodriguez running it down, able to keep it in bounds. Too heavy of a touch there. Foul on Rodriguez. Free kick for Rovers. 
Yeah, just a bit of a lazy foot there from the defender. Catches him coming through, and once again, it's a foul every time. Rodriguez is not going to stop running. He will not stop until that whistle is blown or that ball makes the back of that net move. It's going to be a free kick right outside the 18, about five yards outside the 18 for Montero. Just saw Sebastian take a beautiful corner kick. So you know he's got that left foot, so will in swing. Will he go for that far post again? Or will he look for Mbomio or Rodriguez? The ball is played in. Back post! Ball's bouncing inside the six! Just sails wide right. What an opportunity for Rovers to essentially ice this game in the 66th minute. Ball sails over the line for another Los Tigres goal kick. Yeah, we're going to see the replay on that. It, it's definitely another one of those just corridor of chaos <laughs> for the Rovers. They just let this ball hang so much, and there's just no strongest heads getting to it. Unfortunately, it looks like that was Noel, maybe, uh, who got his head to it. Unfortunately, drives it at the ground. Can't quite get it straight forward. Very difficult to do consistently. Honestly, the, the header that Rovers scored before was a thing of beauty, so can't quite recreate that, but still danger afoot for for Los Tigres. Looks like Kai Bennett will be offside. Yeah, he came from an offside position. Tried to get possession back, but great call, a great vision and awareness from the assistant referee on the far side of the pitch. He had a little help from the Rovers defense because everybody is an official nowadays, you know? Always. Rennie Matthews, as I say that, there are four members of the Rovers bench up warming up. One in particular, Manuel Carrillo, who has scored already two goals in this tournament, leads the Rovers in goal scoring in this regional cup. Will he see some action today? Chris Ramos. Ah, uh, he should have held on to that a little bit longer as he had some time and space to allow Noel to get on his bike a little bit sooner. Sebastian Sandoval had the awareness, nips it off of Noel, and it will be a throw in for Los Tigres. Great play by the center back and captain for Club the Strongest, Steven. Yeah, I mean, that's just that heads up defending, being able to win not only the ball, but also the throw in. Oh, that's a dangerous spot. Severone, Joey Lieto. It's going to be a foul pushing the back from Noel. Easy call, good call from the officials. Free kick, Los Tigres. A lot of calls here from Strongest to just slow this down, and I can't agree more with it. They want to get on their bikes, they want to chase this game, they want to get desperate, but still, they've looked the best when they've been in control, and yep. that's what they need right here. Another long ball up through the middle, trying to find Jamal Titulayo. It's going to sail back into the arms of the goalkeeper, Valdivinos, who immediately drops it to his feet and plays it to his captain. Max Clare in possession on the far side of the pitch. Drives it up the left side. Handball. Referee says play on. Escamilla defended by Rovers, and Los Tigres did win a throw-in, and they're going to have a substitution. Niles Brown at the halfway line looking to check in for Club the Strongest. Niles Brown is from Atlanta, Georgia, to Worcester High School and also the Coral Academy of Science in Nevada. One thing about Niles, he was the first student athlete to graduate from the Coral Academy of Science in Nevada, now makes his home here in Atlanta with Los Tigres. You know, you love to talk about the on-field playing of these players here in the UPSL Georgia Premier Division. But off the field, hitting the books, doing something like that, what an accomplishment. Yeah, certainly so. And I think it's just really the the modern nature of what makes in a footballer. It's no longer just can you be the quickest, can you be the strongest, do you have the best shot? It's how complete of a player are you? And that includes the soccer IQ. And that comes from you know hitting those books and, and taking care of yourself. So always great to see players see not only on the pitch, but off it as well. Jimmy Lee Noel will check in, or will check out, allowing number 18, Manuel Carrillo, to check into the ball game. We are in the 69th minute. And the Rovers still on top of Los Tigres, 2-0. Los Tigres have been awarded a free kick, about seven yards from the top right corner of the 18. You know, this is kind of a crucial free kick here. You get yeah. one here, you're right back in it with about 20 minutes plus stoppage to go. Lots of yellow shirts inside the box. Sandoval at the back post. Krabasa made his way from his defensive position into the box. Lieto, Cross. Watch number 15, Maurizio Cross. The ball's played in, just not the corner that they wanted. Fidel Escamilla didn't get the bend. 
Goes right into the arms of Valdivinos. Beautiful punt. Great awareness from the goalkeeper to find the feet of Carrillo. Carrillo spins off of Titulayo. Just put the ball a little bit too far behind him, allowing Jamal to get in time. Jojo had to come off his line. Great awareness from the goalkeeper again. Rodriguez was creeping. The pit bull was there, Steven. He's hungry. I mean, there's almost two sides of him. The pit bull, like, you have to be constantly aware of him. He was in the shadows. Yes. That, I guarantee you that back pass had no awareness of where Rodriguez was. Nope. So sometimes sometimes you got to be big. Sometimes you got to be flashy. He was chomping at sometimes the bit. Sometimes you got to lurk. Chomping at the bit was Rodriguez. That would be a poacher's goal for sure. Nice ball. Miles Brown is offside. For just a foot offside. A little bit better awareness there from Niles as he was in behind that Rovers defense, probably for the first time in this second half. For Los Tigres, unfortunate yeah. for them. Free kick, Atlanta Rovers. They still have movement on the sideline, they being Rovers, while Los Tigres are looking to check somebody into this contest right now. Immediately moving up top, so trying to augment their, their attacking prowess. Once again, we just see these slivers for strongest where they're finding that back pass plus over the top. Speaking of over top, almost finding their way through there. And there's a lot of Rovers players in the attacking third here. That was Jorge Jacobo who checked in for Club the Strongest. Jacobo will be playing through the middle. Carillo finds the feet of Ramos. Ramos looks up and plays an absolute beautiful ball. Just couldn't bring it down with a first touch because he was in. Umbomio, lots of space. Being closed down by Cribasa. Nazario, the top of the 18. Nazario plays it across. And there's gonna be a foul inside the 18, right in front of the official. He says play on. Carrillo wanted a penalty. Referee says, uh-uh. Actually, that was Sebastian Montero who was taken down on the box for our Rovers. I apologize. Sloppy clearance there from JoJo. Rovers throw in. Yeah, we'll see that once again. I believe this is going to be the play into the box. You're right. First ball through was in. We'll see this pass into the center. Hmm. Uh, it is light, and he's got his back yeah, to the goal. Yeah, a little. I, I would have understood if the foul was called, but, but especially I know in this why. situation, I, get why. I completely understand yeah. the, the – it wasn't enough. I agree. Ball's played in. Can Carrillo find some space? He cannot. Good clearance from Los Tigres to keep Rovers off the board. Christopher Ramos being closed down by Severion. Francombe switches fields to a wide open Max Clare. Captain has options. He's going to try and play another beautiful ball like he has been all game. Off the chest of Montero. One time attempt from Rodriguez. Got more of an instep than he did the laces. Here comes Cross. And this is one who you want to have the ball if you're Los Tigres. Driving to the midfield. Good ball. Jacobo is just a bit offside. Great vision and great awareness once again from the assistant referee on the far side of the pitch. He's getting the Montumbo from Jacobo. Uh-uh. He says the officiating crew disagrees as it will be another free kick for Rovers who are still on top 2-0. I feel a sense of urgency coming yeah. off from Los Tigres, though. Yeah, and they're starting to find some chinks in the armor. The, the playthrough, I think the substitutions have done them well, plus this back line for Rovers. It's still very solid, but you can tell they might be half a step slower. And if they just keep that, they might find it. But it, the sloppiness when they have the opportunities is costing them dearly right now. Nice bit of passing here in the midfield. A couple of one-twos. Jorge Jacobo puts it to the far post. And there is not a soul there for Los Tigres crashing into the back post. It will be a throw in for Rovers deep in the corner. Curious that Strong is going to step up trying to box this in. They really have been successful in this high press, especially because it's going to leave them very open in the back. But you're like you said, there's not much time left and you can't give them the time. Bomeo lifted his foot to the sky. Should have been a foul throw. Referee says play on. Los Tigres creeping to the top of the 18. Escamilla puts it in. He's got a man at the back post. And if Rennie Matthews did not get an emergency header on that, Jorge Jacobo could have put Rovers, I apologize, could have put Strongest on the board for the first time today. What a play once again from the Venezuela number two, Rennie Matthews. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Perfect cup still. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, that's a man of the match kind of performance from so far. He has been instrumental in denying the strongest, and, and they're still trying to find their way through. 
Corner's taken with some bend at the back post, still bouncing inside the area. Cleared away from Rovers. Joe Lieto commits a foul right in the middle of the park here. He doesn't like it. It's going to be a free kick for Rovers as this is starting to get a little interesting. Interesting is certainly what I used to describe it. And here we can see that attempt once again. Just puts it back, ball over the top. If he doesn't hit these headers, like he is in so many positions where he is the last man standing. And if he does not make the play that he specifically does, strongest have an opportunity on goal. Phenomenal work for him today. And it's gonna be a very crucial component if, uh, if Rovers want to take this success and turn it into a season success. Well, he's kind of had to put the defense on his back. He's missing his two center back partners in Ryan Palucci and Felix Nichols. That's one damn strong back right there. Nice ball. Titulio's got some space in the corner. Closed down by Max Clear. Titulio drives into the 18. A couple of step overs. Goes far post. Cleared away from Rovers. But the strongest are really coming alive here in the latter part of this second half. They need two. Their confidence level is growing. That pit bull, Rodriguez, will not stop. Trying to take the ball at the feet of Joey Leto, who checked in here in the second half, along with Rodriguez. It's another man up on the line looking to check in for Rovers. who are looking to try and waste as much time as possible. Nice movement here at the top of the 18 for Mauricio Cross. Closed down by Matthews. Cross cuts it on the inside. Still in the possession. Mauricio Cross. Nice pullback. Mauricio Cross dispossessed finally by Rennie Matthews. A little bit too much dribbling from Maurizio Cross as he's still down at the top of the 18 and a crucial clearance there. <laughs> what a game from him so far. Excuse me. That's that strongest are starting to hit their stride, but it's gonna be a question of is it too little too late? Just 13 minutes remaining. Ah, it's a little bit of a light foul. Looks but. like Brown went down there a little too easily. Referee was right there, so his judgment's gonna be a little bit better than ours. Free kick. Los Tigres. Kind of use the caboose there as a bit of a weapon, kind of throwing that back sometimes. But hey, if it, if it works, it works. And Absolutely. you'll take a free kick there any day. Going to have a substitution. Ramos is going to have a day. Christopher Ramos played a great 77 minutes for Rovers. Will it be enough to help lift the cup for his team? And looks like Josh Francombe will check out. What a tournament Josh Francombe has had introducing himself to the UPSL Georgia Premier Division. A healthy Rovers is going to be a scary, scary sight for the rest of the league. Lieto plays it to the back post, great bend. Sebastian just couldn't find a header there, cleared away. It's gonna be a throw in in the Rovers territory for Los Tigres. If they're gonna get one, they gotta get it now to get themselves back in the game. Their confidence level is rising. You can see it, you can almost sense it. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it put one in the back of the net and make this a ball game. They got it. Right now, it's definitely the time. 12 minutes. They're pushing. They know it's just going to go into the box. And the last time they did this, it was dangerous. Yes, but there's nobody at the back post. The ball's thrown in. Escamilla tries to flick it on. Or I'm sorry, that was Sandoval. Sebastian Sandoval tried to flick it far post. Just couldn't get anything on it that he loved. It's going to be another goal kick for Rovers. They still have some movement on the bench. We are entering the 79th minute, 2023 UPSL Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest 2-0. We are broadcasting live from Heinz Ward Field at Terra Stadium in Jonesboro, Georgia. Beautiful, beautiful day for soccer. Couldn't find a cloud in the sky if I tried. Ooh. Gonna have a man down inside the box for Los Tigres. Trainer's gonna step on and check it out. Looks like it might be Sandoval. He's got the captain's armband. It will be, yeah, Sebastian is going to stay down here inside the box of Rovers. That's a, if there's an injury for those Tigres, it's definitely one you don't want to have in their captain and leader, Sebastian Sandoval. Sebastian, former Bruton Parker College player, played for the Georgia Revolution, Potros FC, now making a home here with the Sandoval family at Club the Strongest Atlanta. Shout out to everyone in La Paz, Bolivia, watching their sister team here in Atlanta, Club the Strongest Atlanta. Currently, Club the Strongest sit at the top of the Bolivian Premier Division right now. I'm sure bringing home some silverware today would make everybody really excited. 
four of the club, the strongest family. Yeah, and you can just tell how important of, uh, of a player that is going down when, when JoJo makes the trek all the way from his box yeah. to the other. It's concerning. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it was something to the head. I mean, those high header situations, there's always the element of risk. And whenever it happens, number one priority is always safety of the player. So very glad that, that he's being seen too. Tell you what, McKay and Claire has really, really excelled on those balls out of the back. Nice defensive play there from Sevrion. Throw in uh, Rovers right at the midfield line. Just gonna take a few steps forward, throw it right down the line. Cleared away by Cross. A foul on Los Tigres and they will earn a free kick. It looks like Norman Carmona will check in. Jamal Tataleo will have a, have a break. Looks like his day will be finished, Jamal. He ran all over the park today, Steven, so he should be proud of himself. Didn't find any goals today, but his work rate and his availability for his team, it was just top notch. Roman Carmona checking in. Like to mention, Carmona was tied with teammate Kush Clark for second in the Golden Boot race. They each had eight goals in the fall 2022 season. Norman went to Marietta High School and broke. Oh, there's a foul right at the top of the 18 on Niles Brown. It's a scary free kick here for Club Ooh. the Strongest Atlanta. And there's a yellow card going to be issued to Nazario and Bomeo. Number 11 here for Rovers. Yeah, Dangerous free kick, Steven. Yeah, I mean, we saw that first free kick coming all the way from the back, played just over the top. Flick on and... That, that's not a yellow card. That's not a foul. I mean, it, it's tricky in these situations. Cup final, everyone's shouting. If someone goes down in the back turned, it does look like he goes down. But sometimes when you're an attacking player and you're in a situation where you just need to find something, you go down a little easier. So not always how we want to see the games played. But at the end of the day, both teams are trying to win a cup. So they're, they're going to do what they need to do to make that happen. And now we'll see if they're going to be, if Strongest are going to be able to do what they need to do in order to make this game a, a one-goal difference. Strongest have a five-man roll in front of Valdivinos as Sebastian Sandoval checks back in. Fidel Escamilla over this free kick alongside Joey Lieto. Escamilla goes near post! Fidel Escamilla! What a brilliant strike! Oh my gosh, Fidel Escamilla checks into the second half and puts one on the mark, and it is now 2-1, game on! And that's an absolute stunning strike, Steven. I just can't believe it. That was beautiful, and I want to see that again and again and again if there wasn't just another seven minutes of beautiful game to be played Woo! here. That is precisely where he needs to put it, just in that top left corner. Beautiful right to left swing. Yeah, that's never, that's never being saved in a million years. Phenomenal put. You didn't see it, but JoJo on his knees praying in a midfield, and those prayers were just answered. It's going to be another foul on the far side of the field committed on Mauricio Cross. We may have a yellow card issued. The official is right there, and he does issue a card to Captain McKenna Claire. We're racking those up today. This is quite the game we have going on here, everyone. If you're just now tuning in, UPSL Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. And a Rovers FC taking on Club the Strongest. Club the Strongest just found them back in the net in the 83rd minute. They're now down by one. Another free kick on the far side of the pitch. Can they find some more magic? They're going to need to dig deep to find this one. Keep in mind, the goal that they found is from a set piece. They've yet to really hit pay dirt from open play. And this definitely isn't a situation where they're going to score direct, so they got to find something. Scamilla on the far side of the field. Just scored on a free kick. Fidel Escamilla puts it inside the 18. The ball's bouncing. The ball's still inside the 18. And Jorge Valdivinos comes off the line to make a save. And they're, ch they're challenging for a handball. They being Los Tigres, they're in the official's face, begging for a whistle. The official says, no, it ain't going to happen. Valdivino shakes himself yeah. off, wipes the beads off. Good discipline from the referee. I mean, he knows the exact situation of this game. If you are not confident that that's what happened, you don't, you don't give that. I, I'm curious on the replay, if there was anything that looked like a handball, if anything, it would have been definitely a ball to hand situation. Um, right call, not quite finding what they needed to strongest, but hey, they still got seven minutes to, to find pay dirt here. It's another foul throw and the official saw it this time. Remember, 
and actually the qualifying match between these two teams. It's a 1-1 draw in week three. That goal was scored by number 11, Fidel Escamilla. Throwing taken by Kribasa, right down the line looking for cross. Rodriguez, got Carrillo wide open out here on the far right. Manuel Carrillo brings it down out of the air. Closed down by Cedrion. Apologies, that was Lieto. Throw in Rovers deep in the territory of Los Tigres. We got about four minutes plus stoppage remaining in this final. Can Club the Strongest find a little bit more fight? Can they tie this thing up? Throw in taken by Carrillo, inside the 18, headed away by Los Tigres. Flick on behind here by Jacobo, looking for Escamilla, unsuccessful, one back by Rovers. Carrillo's gonna slow it down, find a wide open man right in the middle of the park. Long shot attempt, routine save for Jojo, who gets up immediately and charges from the top of the 18. With Kahar at the pitch, Maurizio crosses, begging for the ball. Don't wanna lose possession easily here for Los Tigres, they send it right up the middle. Battle in the air is won by Los Tigres. Just a bit of heavy good touch there from Escamilla as Miles Brown was wide open on the goal left. Scored in the 83rd minute by number 11, Fidel Escamilla. Rovers right in front of their bench. Romeo will take the throw. Looks like Nazario has dropped back a little bit. He'll play a little bit more of a defensive role. A little bit differently than his normal offensive role here for Rovers. There's some business to take care of. And that business is winning the regional cup. You do whatever you gotta do. Throw in Los Tigres right at half field. Brown drops it back to Lieto. Lieto's charged by Rodriguez. Jacobo pushing the back by Nazario and Bomi. Referee says play on. Carmona, who is gonna come from an all side position. Once again, great awareness from the official on the far side of the field. Norman Carmona, he's been offside this entire tournament. He's going to want that one back again, Steven. Oh, he's going to want all of them back. But I think so often when we look at offsides calls, we, we really do go hard on the attackers. And to be fair, that is your job. It is your job to make sure you're in an eligible position. But also phenomenal job from the Rovers' back line, making sure there's a there in line, making sure nobody is staggering at that back post and, and playing somebody on. So as much as it is, it is a, a lapse of judgment for strongest, it's also great play from Rovers, who are really solid at the back here today. Sloppy clearance from Valdivinos. That ball's gonna be nipped off. It's gonna stay in bounds with the backspin. Nazario and Bomeo closed down by Brown. Carrillo switches fields, looking for Figueroa Lopez, the first half goal scorer for Rovers. Couldn't keep it in bounds. It's gonna be a throw in for Los Tigres, deep, deep in the corner. Yeah, that was great vision. I mean, it's a phenomenal ball. That was a man through. You're seeing so many of these wingbacks for Strong is just pushing up, trying to eat that goal out. And, and as much as Rovers haven't quite been as much on the front foot as they have in the rest of the game, they're maintaining this front five. Yes. They are not letting off the gas pedal because they know that your best defense is a good offense. You score another goal, it makes your defense job that much easier. Lots of diving in here for those Tigres. They gotta be careful, making it too easy right now for Rovers. Long shot attempt, unsuccessful, goes wide left. It's gonna be another goal kick for Club the Strongest Atlanta. Hey, shout out to this ball kid's uh, boot here. Some great punts to keep this game rolling. There's gonna be a yellow card issued to the bench of Club the Strongest. As they will set up a goal kick. Jojo will leave it for Sebastian. As we are all hands on deck now. Club the Strong is pushing up the field. It's times a ticking in this regional cup final. They're down 2-1. Can they muster up Ooh, some magic? Yellow card shown to the bench here. Of, of Another Club yellow, That's a and red. this time it will be a red. And that will be my one, Ed Siraj. He's going to get sent packing. Red card from the bench. And that's going to waste more time in the game. Club the Strongest, they're the and team And that's, that's time they don't have, right. Steven. I mean, that, that is such a bad card for so many reasons. One, because it wastes the time. Two, remember, this is official UPSL sanctioned competition. Those cards carry over to the yes. regular season. So now yes. all of a sudden, you know, that, that's just adding even more to the play of the Strongest. Potential starter for Club the Strongest. Union City, California native. Sent packing, Myoned Siraj. 
the uh, throw in Rovers. We have entered stoppage time. When we find out how much, we will let you know. I expect there to be a few minutes. Yeah, especially in these first competitions, we, we've had a lot of time added on to the second half. There was the injury shout before, and there was enough that we should be getting it. Uh, my guess would be at least five, six minutes more of play. Push in the back from Rodriguez. Free kick goes Tigres. Looking. You just wonder, are these long balls going to be effective, Steven? Just losing possession. They're going to punch a long ball right into the 18. Flicked on by Cross. Ball still in the air. Brought down by Carrillo. Didn't get what he wanted. It's going to go to the feet of Joey Lieto. Lieto's going to storm around Mbomio. Can he keep it in bounds? Joey Lieto cannot keep it in bounds. It will be a throw in for the Rovers right next to their bench. Time is a ticking for this regional cup final for Club the Strongs to find anything to get themselves back into this. Week three, they were down one. Maurizio Cross came in off the bench to tie it up. Do they have any magic left? Big clearance from Claire. One back in the midfield from Krabasa. Krabasa trying to flick it over Rennie Matthews, looking for Norman Carmona. Rennie got ahead on it. Sebastian finds Nazario. He puts it through to Rodriguez. One two attempt. Can Lieto beat Nazario to it? Nice battle down here on the right side. Nazario and Bomeo. Joe Lieto battling it out here, still in possession. Club the strongest win that battle. Niles Brown. Closed down by Carrillo. Nice spin here from Brown. Can he stay in possession? He can. Norman Camona's got to watch his offside. Pull back here by Rovers as we got a little scuffle here in the middle of the park. Professional foul kind of turned into a little dirty of a foul. Yeah, there could be more shout for more than a yellow card here. The, the pull of the jersey, that's classic professional foul. You know that he's through. You just, you're fine with taking the yellow, but you need to stop him. However, there was a little bit, I don't want to say a headlock, but there was there was an elbow somewhere near the head. There's still a lot, a yeah. lot of squirmish going down here on the pitch. The officiating crew trying to get control. Things are Remember that we're still in stoppage time. This is all time that's, that's on the clock. Yeah, things are being calmed down now as it will be a free kick for Los Tigres. Like I said before, a professional foul turned into a little bit more of a dirty foul than I would assume the Rovers player expected. Nonetheless, it was <laughs> just all over hug. the back. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a second yellow. That is a second yellow, and that will be a day. He just checks in, and he's already gone. Important thing to note, the, the red card that Strongest was shown, that was somebody on the bench. This was a player on the pitch. This means that Rovers will have to finish this match and any extra time, a man down now. The coaching crew is letting the fourth official have it as we are still in stoppage time. And it will be a big free kick here for Club the Strongest Atlanta. This may be the last play of the game. Escamilla plays it into the far post. Ball's played in. Oh my gosh! The ball sails over the bar. Los Tigres had a chance. They had Sandoval wide open at the back post. He just hits it a little bit too high, and it'll be a goal kick for Rovers FC. You got to think, was that it? Was that the moment of brilliance that he needed? He just couldn't muster it so up. Close. It oh my gosh! Sebastian Sandoval. Yeah, we see this ball. It just it just lazily drops in, and strongest. They want it more. They go meet the ball at its highest point. Try to loop it over the keeper. He's not even that far off his line, and that nearly just goes straight over him. But unfortunately, it's just too high. But now, you got to think strongest. They've lit the fire. And it is going to be offside. Nice watch here from the assistant referee. There are about two men offside for Rovers as they were a little bit too excited here. Time's a wasting and a ticking. It's just everyone forward. I see, I see six people on this front line for Club the Strongest. Last season, towards the latter part of it, we questioned the character of Club the Strongest. This second 45, that question, that question is out of it. They have come from within, fought from a flunder, and Steven, they have put on a fight here in the second half with Club the Strongest versus Atlanta Rovers FC. Yeah, and this would be such, such a swing because you have to think if somehow Club the Strongest could equalize this match, they become the favorites. They are currently playing 11 on 10. Goalkeeper's going to start getting involved here. Escamilla plays the ball. A little backspin to the far post. The ball's headed on goal. It looks like it's going to be headed off. He's of pointing to the spot. 
Oh, free kick. It's pointed goal to kick. a goal kick. My heart almost jumped out of my chest. I saw the point. Woo, he I did, saw the point. He did point. I, I, I agree. Unfortunately for Los Tigres, that is also the signal for goal kick. Apologies to those back at home. Got a little bit too excited here. So we're going to see the, the replay of that again. Once again, Strongest are starting to find stuff on this. I think there also could have been a shout for a penalty against Strongest for pushing on that header. But at the end of the day, it is going to be Rover's ball again. Once again, you have to admire the character of this second half team for Club the Strongest Atlanta. So exciting to watch. Really starting to figure it out. Free kick for Rovers. We're deep into stoppage time. Atlanta Rovers FC on top of Club the Strongest Atlanta 2-1 in this UPSL Georgia Spring Regional Cup Final. 50-50 ball, one in the air by Lieto, and he also wins a throw in. Here we go, Los Tigres right down the line. It's a clash in the air with Rovers. And that is gonna do it for the 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup. Atlanta Rovers FC go back to back, and they are the champions. That's a beautiful game from Rovers. I mean, they definitely let off in the second half, but overall, they look like the more complete team. Some pieces still to go, but they're gonna be happy to bring this piece of silverware, to bring this cup back home with them. What a second half of play. We started the second 45 with Atlanta Rovers FC up 2-0. Club the strongest Atlanta showed that fight, showed that character, got back into it, got within one, just couldn't muster up enough magic to tie this up at two. Atlanta Rovers FC two, Club the strongest Atlanta one. They're coming with confidence. All the players they were able to bring in they look like a complete team, especially with that front five. I don't think I've seen a team in this division that's been able to play so comfortably on the front foot with so many attacking options and still maintain it. You really like what you saw out of Los Tigres in the second half. If they bring that sense of urgency starting March 18th, they've got a real opportunity to make a lot of noise here in this premier division. Oh, and things aren't stopping on the other end. It's, it, I, I really do want to say that I think we saw quite a bit out of both teams. I think Club the Strongest, they really just need to, to really hone in on what their strengths are. They exist, but they didn't really play to them today. They 100% played Atlanta Rovers game. I almost beat them at it at the end, but certainly a lot to build on. You hate to see it you know, go this way with, with heated heads, but I mean, it's a cup final. People are going to get up there. A lot of passion, yeah. a lot of fight, a lot of love for the sport. Los Tigres not taking it the way that you would like them to. We are going to end our broadcast today with an uncomfortable ending as players are being escorted off the pitch by members of law enforcement. And as you see, Atlanta Rovers FC still remain on the pitch. We're going to end the live broadcast, but we're going to come back in just a few minutes with some trophy celebrations and maybe some on-field interviews. But what a spring regional cup it was. Five weeks of action, eight teams, two divisions, one winner. That's Atlanta Rovers FC. For Atlantic Soccer Media Group, I am Drew Dickinson. He was Steven Johnson. Thank you so much, and we'll be back in just a few minutes for some trophy celebrations. Look forward to seeing and hearing everybody back here live on March 18th for the beginning of the Premier Division season. We leave Heinz Ward Field and Terra Stadium. Atlanta Rovers FC 2, Club the Strongest Atlanta 1.
dangerous and go near post with it, or he can be safe and go far post. Goalkeeper's leaving the near post open. He's going to trust his wall. He does go near post! Oh, what a shot. Atlanta City FC with the... Tinto did not. That tackle by Les Haji was difficult and hard and harsh even. The referee says play on. Nice reception to turn by Ty. He's got Ibra Mascaro. Ty goes oh, far post! Atlanta United... Ball's played in, and unable to keep it out of the net is Cosmos. He's running out on C's. Near post, corner. Off the head, nice save, and it goes in the back of the net! C's United FC able to tie the game in the 80. Put some service into the box, headed up in the air by Felix. Ball still bouncing in the six. Headed away off the line by Rovers, headed back into play. Shot on goal, Rovers! We are back here at Heinz Ord Field at Terra Stadium as Atlanta Rovers FC are set to be awarded the 2023 Spring UPSL Georgia Regional Cup. Familiar territory for the Rovers as they took home the cup in the summer 2022 inaugural Regional Cup. And as you hear them down on the pitch, they are back-to-back -back Regional Cup champs. Medal presentation begins. And a Rovers FC. Wow. What can you say about them? They entered week one with a 3 0 win over FC Atlanta Academy. Came back next week even hotter with another win over Atlanta City FC. And then, arguably, the best match of the tournament before today was the 1-1 draw in week three against Club the Strongest Atlanta, who trailed 1-0 the entire game and mustered up some late minute glory to tie it up. And then of course in the semifinals, showed Coach Osef see why they are a perennial powerhouse in the Premier Division. They sent Coach Os home 4-0. Saturday, March 18th, Atlanta Rovers FC begin their Premier Division conquest as they take on newcomers, Legends FC. Some more games to note. Opening week, you'll see Dalton United, recently promoted, taking on perennial powerhouse Kalanji Pro profile. FC Birmingham, back in the Premier Division, looking to make some more noise as they take on newcomer North Georgia United. And the following day, Sunday, March the 19th, Atlanta City FC taking on Benetinto Atlanta. And to cap off week one, we'll have North Georgia United taking on Atlanta City FC. North Georgia has a couple of games that weekend. They're busy people. As the medals are being presented to Atlanta Rovers FC staff and players like to give a shout out to 2022 Manager of the Year, Mr. Ayub Aloui. It's very difficult when you lose your top guns in the first few weeks of the season. Take a couple of losses, pick up the pieces with some new players you're able to acquire and bring your team to the playoffs. And now, Steven, with a full healthy squad, Another regional cup to start the season off your back. I just, <laughs> teams beware because they're hungry. Yeah. They're going to want more silverware. They certainly are. And I think they've got a good shout for it. And Captain McCone and Claire, the Moroccan lifts the cup once again. And they are your spring 2023 regional cup champs, Atlanta Rovers FC.
Campiones indeed. And they're going to throw it out one more time. Why not? And there's the coach getting involved with the celebration. Look what it means to him, Stephen. You know, you, you leave high school unable to go to college, go to college for a couple years, money's tight, but here comes the UPSL Georgia Premier Division, giving you an escape, allowing you an opportunity to still battle, to still fight for a top spot in this sport. Atlanta Rovers FC, they've got a lot of players on this team who can really, really go far in this game, and it's gonna be an exciting season coming up. Oh, I think Atlanta Rovers are gonna be one of the most dangerous teams that we're gonna be seeing this season. Not only do they have really their system together, but they have options. I mean, the fact that Sam Johnson came off and, and realistically, he wasn't even their best option up top. I mean, this is a team that has choices, have so many ways come at you that, you know, these young players, they're looking to set this league on fire. Looks like our time has come to an end here for the Regional Cup Final. As you see the champs down on the field celebrating their second Regional Cup in a row. Atlanta Rovers FC defeat Club the Strongest Two to one. Don't forget, Saturday, March 18th, week one of the UPSL Georgia Premier Division season as we leave Heinz Ward Field at Terra Stadium with a beautiful regional cup conclusion. I am Drew Dickinson alongside Stephen Johnson saying so long, everyone. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. dangerous and go near post with it or he can be safe and go far post goalkeepers leaving the near post open he's going to trust his wall and he does go near post oh what a shot atlanta city fc with the Tinto did not a tackle by les haji was difficult and hard and harsh even the referee says play on nice reception to turn by ty he's got Ibra mascara ty goes oh, far post atlanta united Ball's played in, and unable to keep it out of the net is Cosmos. He's running out on C's. Near post, corner. Off the head, nice save, and it goes in the back of the net! C's United FC able to tie the game in the 80. Put some service into the box, headed up in the air by Felix. Ball still bouncing in the six. Headed away off the line by Rovers, headed back into play. Shot on goal, Rovers! This has been a presentation of the UPSL. Any use of this broadcast without the written consent of the Atlantic Soccer Media Group is prohibited.